Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly check the hair uh, for the HD render pipeline. So as you can see on the right here, there's the game view. I've set it to 1920 by 1080. So if I basically maximize this, this is going to be more like what you see in the game. There's a little bit of anti-aliasing applied and it's using the dither effect fade because that effect is much more uh, reliant for it not having any defects or popping due to soft transparency. So as you can see in the game view, it doesn't look as good because it's not doing any anti-alace in this mode um, because it's the camera that does it. So if you click in your scene camera and you go to uh, the anti-aliasing, you can play around with these settings like temporal, Subpixel and fast approximate. I recommend fa fast approximate, it seems to be the best. Dithering doesn't have much of an effect. Um, temporal aliasing might look better when the game is running, uh, so it's just a case of testing that by putting it into play mode and just checking anything. Maybe rotate the head around. So if I take the head here or the hair, even. I don't think they're actually attached, but yeah, if I move that around, it actually looks quite nice because it does a kind of uh, blend between the movement. Uh, so that compared with the fast approximate, we'll just click here and go for the uh, fast approximate and do the same kind of thing. Let me also check this so we can see. That's also pretty good. There's a little bit of weird movement between the hair and things. Um, but yeah, if I move that around, you can see it doesn't look at all bad when it's in motion. Okay, so ignore the scene view. It doesn't do any anti lace in the scene view because Unity wants to stay performant. And that's just the kind of thing that happens. Let's move that around. Um, and make sure you check in like a high either high resolution, so you can check in this mode, but you know, at a smaller scale, because that's kind of equivalent to you viewing it in full screen, or change this to 1920 by 1080, but make sure you check it maximized. And that is kind of what you're gonna get there. So I recommend for here, probably the temporal lacing is a lot better. We go back to that again, so back to your camera, change this to temporal, and make sure you maximize. And for me, that looks kind of nicer. It does a tiny little bit of jittering, but it looks pretty good, right? Much better than what you see in your uh, scene view because your scene view doesn't do any actual anti lacing. You see all this kind of noise, and it's very jagged. So I hope that helps you set up the, the hair the way you want to and I uh, hope you enjoy using this. Thanks for watching. Bye.